the benzene molecule contains a special type of conjugation and this special type of conjugation the special type of overlap between all the orbitals of the carbon atoms in the benzene basically stabilizes the molecule decreasing its energy now the question is by how much energy is actually decreased so by how much energy does the benzene decrease because of this stabilizing effect due to the special type of conjugation in the benzene molecule this is the question we want to explore in this lecture and the way that we're going to calculate the way we're going to determine this energy of our special type of conjugation and benzene is by using the heat of hydrogenation so whenever we want to compare the stability of different types of alkenes we use the heat of hydrogenation and in this lecture we're going to compare the cyclohexene the 1,3 cyclohexadiene and the 1,3,5 cyclohexatriene also known as the benzene molecule so let's begin by allowing the cyclohexene to undergo the hydrogenation reaction in the presence of our catalyst so we produce the following cyclohexene cyclohexane our six membered ring that does not have any pi bond and we see that the heat of hydrogenation of this molecule is about negative 28.6 kilocals per mole of molecule so that basically means that every time we go from this molecule to this molecule we basically need this amount of energy to basically break this pi bond so the cost of breaking that pi bond is given by this quantity and that means that this molecule is more stable than this molecule and that makes sense now let's move on to the second molecule the second type of alkene in this case a diene so we have one three cyclohexadiene so instead of having a single pi bond we have two pi bonds in our system so if our molecules follow this trend we might expect that the heat of hydrogenation of this molecule that has twice as many pi bonds as this molecule is twice this amount so basically that's that's about right so the heat of hydrogenation of this molecule is about negative 55.4 kilocals of energy per mole and that's slightly less than twice this and so the reason for that is because we do have a bit of conjugation taking place we have an overlap between these pi orbitals so this uh, electron density is distributed among these three carbons and so that's exactly why this energy is slightly low than twice this amount so if we follow the same exact logic we might expect that our 135 cyclohexatriene the benzene molecule when it is allowed to undergo our hydrogenation reaction under high temperature conditions we might expect that the heat of hydrogenation of this molecule is slightly less than three times this because here we have three pi bonds now it turns out that this is not actually correct so the expected heat of hydrogenation of this benzene molecule is about negative 85 kilocals of energy per mole and we get that by taking this and multiplying by three so we expect that the heat of hydrogenation is this 
multiplied by 3. However, experimentally we measure that the heat of hydrogenation of any benzene molecule is about negative 49 kilocals of energy, much, much lower than the expected energy value. And this is because of this special type of conjugation that exists within the benzene molecule. This greatly stabilizes the benzene molecule and lowers the energy of the benzene molecules then compared to the energy of what we expect the benzene molecule to actually have. So once again, notice that the benzene is much more stable and lower in energy than what would be predicted if it followed the pattern we spoke about above. So we expect that the heat of hydrogenation of benzene to be around 3 multiplied by this, so negative 85.8 kilocals per mole. But the actual experimental value of the heat of hydrogenation of benzene is about negative 49.3 kilocals of energy per mole. And this basically means that benzene is extremely stable as a result of this conjugation, as a result of the delocalization of electrons among all these six carbons, among all those six 2p orbitals. So the difference between, or the difference in energy between the expected energy, the expected heat of hydrogenation and the actual experimental value is more than 30 kilocals of energy per mole. And this energy, because it is a result of resonance stabilization, we call this energy difference the, deloc uh, the delocalization of energy. So let's take a look at the following energy diagram where the y-axis represents our energy. So the higher we go, the greater the energy is. So basically, we might expect that the energy of benzene is, let's say, around this quantity, but the actual calculated value is much smaller. And the difference, delta E, is known as the delocalization energy because it is a result of this special type of conjugation, this delocalization of electron density that takes place inside the benzene molecule, and it's equal to about negative 85.8 kilocals, the expected minus negative 49.3, the actual, and it's about negative 36.1 kilocals of energy. This is known as the, deloc the delocalization of energy or the delocalization energy. So what exactly can we conclude about our benzene molecule? So this energy difference between the expected value and the actual value of benzene as we discussed just a moment ago is known as the delocalization energy of benzene. It is a direct result of the special conjugation that benzene has and molecules such as benzene that exist exhibit this special type of conjugation are given a special name. They're known as aromatic compounds. So aromaticity and aromatic compounds, we're going to discuss these special type of compounds beginning from the next lecture. So basically benzene is this special type of molecule that contains aromaticity. It has this special conjugation, it's cyclic, it's relatively planar, and so it contains this special overlap between all these orbitals and so the electron density is delocalized, is delocalized. this stabilizes, it lowers its energy, and this is exactly where this energy difference between the expected heat of hydrogenation and the actual value for the heat of hydrogenation of benzene actually comes from.